fresh out this morning, got a message. Mike, how do I be as awesome as you? Okay, that wasn't the message. Anyway, here's what the message really was. Mike, what is one area or one thing that really made you understand leadership? One thing, the restaurant industry. And if I was to expand on that, I would say customer service. The reason being customer service is, like I, I did most of my career, or sorry, I don't even say career, I spent 17 years in the food and beverage industry, whether waiting tables, bartending, managing. And I think I learned so much about leadership and dealing with people because that's what leadership is. It's managing people. But I had to manage my customers. I had to make sure that I got the most money out of them. You know how you get money out of people? You get them to like you. And some people will say, well, you're just manipulating people. No, what I was doing is I was learning to pick up on cues, how people are reacting to things that I say. So when I first started, <laughs> I made shit money because I really didn't know how to read people. As I got more experience, I was able to read people more. I knew when to say certain things. I knew when to stay away. Now transfer that into management. How does that even help? Here's how it helps. It helps because I've now learned how to read people. So my staff, I can see when they're having an off day. I can see when Sally's just being a little bitch because that's who she is. Or I can see that there's actually something wrong because that's not the way she usually acts. That's not the way that John usually has an outburst. He never really tells people off. So I need to pick up on that. Or there's an assignment. There is a project that we're working on that's late. Frank's never late. Why is he late now? With customer service skills, I was able to pick up on people. Now, would I say that I'm a, a fantastic poker player? No, I mean, I made a buck or two, but I would never go heavy into a poker tournament thinking, well, I can read people because that's a different set of skills. But being able to read the people that are around you being to, able to pick up on cues, how they're sitting, how they're holding their shoulders, how they're holding their head, how they're making eye contact. If they're laughing because they feel they have to laugh at you. I mean, everybody laughs with me. Nobody laughs at me. But these are all cues that you pick up. And this is how you increase your EQ. So if you're just starting in the workplace and management is something that you want to get in. Guys, forgive me. I'm getting fat. This COVID weight is just killing me. So this walk is killing me. Anyway, back on topic. Listen, if you wanna get into management, you wanna be a leader, I highly recommend you work on your EQ. And you're gonna do that by what people would call shitty little jobs. You're gonna be working at a hair salon. You're gonna be working at a restaurant. You're gonna be working folding clothes because you're in retail. These are where you get to meet people. You may get to meet great people, but you get to meet some mean people. Some people that are just frustrated with their own lives and they take it out on the little old waiter. Well, I'm a little bit bigger. I am old, but anyway, I hope this helps. Get into the next video because I promise you, I'll be breathing a lot better. <laughs> Ciao.